for Indiana Governor Mike Pence are fighting to keep private the contents of emails between him and lawyers hired by the state. Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Bryant was there as the Indiana Court of Appeals heard arguments in the case. He's at the State House now, where a decision could come in the next few weeks. Jeremy? And John, that uh, hearing here on the third floor of the Indiana State House lasted just about one hour. It will be up to the Court of Appeals to either uphold a lower court ruling or to decide if, in fact, Governor Pence does need to release to the public the contents of those emails. All of this stems from a lawsuit the Pence administration filed with a group of other states back in 2014 opposing immigration policy of the Obama administration. The governor hired a private law firm to handle Indiana's portion of that lawsuit. Suit, but how much did that cost? That amount is not being made public due to attorney client privilege, and other details of email correspondence are also being kept secret. The Indianapolis lawyer who is suing the governor says this is all about principle. The principle is transparency in our state government. And if you heard what uh, Governor Pence's lawyer said, if his constitutional argument were to be accepted, all of the governor's emails would be unavailable to members of the media and to citizens. It reminds me, and I'm going to give away my age, but it reminds me of the position Nixon took during the dispute over the Pentagon Papers. It's chilling, frankly. And a court here in Marion County ruled in favor of the Pence administration. That's why this was appealed to the Indiana Court of Appeals. The court is likely to re, uh, respond with a verdict on this, a decision on this, within the next 70 days. John, back to you.